So much of the amazing technology all around us was developed by mechanical engineers. We spoke to a mechanical engineer and entrepreneur about her career. Hi, I'm here with Elizabeth Vilches at the New York Hall of Sciences STEM Night. Um, Elizabeth is a mechanical engineer as well as an entrepreneur. So what does it mean to be a mechanical engineer? Being a mechanical engineer, you get to design a lot of things that you see every day. And what inspired you to get involved in engineering? I've always liked to create things, so I'm a very visual person that likes to have an idea and bring it to life. And so my first introduction of being able to do that was through engineering. Now, you're also an advocate for diversity and in particular for immigration. You're originally from Mexico. Why is diversity important in fields like engineering? I think that a lot of the products that get designed are used by a variety of audiences. And now when we think about how a lot of products are going international, you need to be able to design products that a variety of people across the world will be able to use. And so when you have a team that's creating that product, you, it's really important that they come from a very diverse background and thought in places that they were born in and places that they grew up because that just makes a better product. If someone was thinking about getting involved in engineering, there, there may be a young girl looking at future careers, what advice would you give them about becoming an engineer? The first thing is to definitely ask questions. I think like I, when I started, I was really interested in, in art and somebody told me I was really good in math. And I was like, what if I blend both? What are my options? Can you share some, some ideas I can explore? And so it started with my teachers. And I think once I honed in that I wanted to do engineering, um, organizations that are national, like the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, were really helpful in mapping the different types of engineering and helping me figure out which one would be a better fit. Now, you're also a very successful entrepreneur as well. Entrepreneur is quite a sexy title. What advice would you give to someone that's thinking about a career in entrepreneurship? So if you are an entrepreneur and you want to build companies, so products that turn into big companies, my advice to you is first is like, find a way to put your idea out into the world. And with technology nowadays, it's, it's much easier than it used to be in the past. So if you have an idea for a business, like you could do something as simple as like put it out on Facebook and get your friends to comment to see if they like the idea, if they would pay for the idea. And if you get enough support, like start working on it from a simple website to like a quick poll and just a vote, like get working on it to get that feedback to develop your company. And last question for you, Elizabeth, tell me about STEM night tonight. What have you been doing? What's the experience that you've had? It's been really amazing. It's great to see the different uh, products that the students have built, that the community has built. And it was great to be on a panel with such amazing women in a variety of fields in science, tech, engineering, and math. And so I'm just enjoying like learning from their experience and getting to see the work that the, everybody has created. Fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us at STEM Night. No, thank you for having me.